Hi, uh, Julie Krabsky here, Editor-in-Chief for Chat Case Reports, live from EuroPCR in Paris. It's a great pleasure to have two great friends and colleagues, uh, Dr. David Moliterno, Editor-in-Chief for Chat Interventions, and Dr. Davide Cabotano, Editor-in-Chief for EU Intervention. So I'll start uh, from da David. Um, you know, we have been discussing in publishing how actually we have changed the route of publishing into getting the guidelines and the information more digestible. For example, someone cannot read, you know, 100 pages of yeah. guidelines. Well, how do you see the future of publishing, you know, in relation in relate to guidelines? Well, I think it's twofold. One of the challenges, as you know, with guidelines is they have to keep changing, right? Uh, we know in acute coronary syndrome, the ischemic heart disease, about 18 months is the lifespan of the guidelines before something needs to be changed. And so I think the bigger question is, is how do we keep evolving them, but getting the information out there faster? And one of the things we do at my university is whenever a fellow presents a case and says what was done in the case, the management, we ask them to just say level of evidence or class of, uh, of the evidence to help them to think about what is the information and sometimes they'll spit out maybe the, the, the major randomized trial. But I, I think it's by not giving the information once every 10 years in great volume, but maybe just trying to provide short updates as we go along. And, and I think it works perfectly in, in a case-based learning model. You don't need to go through all the evidence, but just say, we did this, you know, 1A based on this. And so that's, I think, at least one of the thoughts is, is trying to do it continuously, but in short bites. So great points and thank you. So David, uh, we have seen a lot how central illustration, you know, changes the whole message and how people actually first look at the central illustration and then read the article. How have you evolved the central illustration for your intervention? Well, I have to recognize that this is a concept that has been introduced by the JAP journals and uh, everyone now is uh, learning how this model is successful and of course trying to catch up with this successful uh, way you deliver education through images. Um, I think uh, uh, we have to be clear, at least uh, in my journal, uh, in, uh, um, in uh, explaining to the authors what is a central illustration uh, versus a graphical abstract, because sometimes they feel it's the same thing, but actually these are two different concepts. And uh, I'm seeing also that the quality of the central illustration sometimes has to be um, educated in a way, because uh, they are becoming busy and busy, no? which yes. is the opposite of what we want, to yeah. simplify the messages. So I think uh, developing guidelines for central illustration somehow is uh, one of the next goals that we have, for example, a few intervention, but of course following very successful models like we did in uh, Jack Case Report, Jack Intervention and the Jack Center. Great, thank you so much.